Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Um, if you're enjoying this content, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, if you're watching this and you've seen a couple of my videos and you agree with uh, what I have to say and you find these videos useful, uh, hit the subscribe button. Now, like right now. Like, yeah, like now, now. Oh, wait. I'll give it a second. This gives you time to scroll up, hit the subscribe button. Did you do it? You didn't do it. You didn't see? You know what? You didn't do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, friends. Um, today's topic is <sighs> caffeine. Caffeine. <laughs> caffeine is. Uh, caffeine is a bittersweet kind of thing when you have anxiety. So yesterday, just to give you an idea, caffeine's in all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're kind of addicted to it as a people, especially if you're a, an American or, or if you're you know, uh, in the UK or any of these uh, you know, successful countries that we have if you're not in a third world country. <laughs> um, caffeine's in all kinds of stuff. And I mean, it helps a lot. So, but when you have anxiety, uh, caffeine is kind of a catch-22. It's kind of a Rob Peter Pay Paul situation. Um, so yesterday I went out and I got, so most of you know that right now I'm on keto. Um, so keto's going great. Uh, hopped off the train a little bit uh, for Halloween, avo. Uh, but I am back on and probably will remain on until Thanksgiving. Come off, eat carbs, feel horrible, and then do the same thing until, until uh, Christmas. So, but yesterday I got one of these babies. Monster. Let's see, it's got no sugar. So, but what it does have is a crud ton of caffeine. A little erythritol, which is a, a natural sugar, a natural sweetener, I should say. All kinds of other stuff. So, uh, but anyways, I took this in the morning. And so I was having a laggy day because the whole time change happened on Sunday. Uh, today's Tuesday. So when's that happen? saw a thing on Facebook and it made a lot of sense. It says, uh, everybody's excited because they get the extra hour of sleep. But if you're a parent, especially a parent of a baby, you don't get no extra hour. <laughs> that baby doesn't understand time changes. He just wakes up. He's working on his circadian rhythm. He's just, just uh, I'm just up and I'm doing my thing. And so he doesn't understand. So he's still waking up at the same time. So there's no extra sleep at our house. Um, so, that being said, with the time chase and stuff, I, uh, I, I was feeling a little low. So I grabbed me one of these babies, and I chugged it. I didn't chug it, I drank it, normally. And <laughs> uh, after a while, obviously, it was kind of, puh, a little pep in my step, I was feeling good. And then uh, later on, you know, you get the crash. Well, this crash, I mean, it's a caffeine crash which isn't as bad as a sugar crash, but it's still like a high and then was like, then you need more caffeine to keep it up. Well, that being said, when I crashed, I got home and I kind of took a little nap because I had to put the baby down for his nap. And then when you have a little baby, they're so warm and cuddly and soft. And then, so you just kind of, you know, you, <laughs> you kind of just warm up and then you kind of end up sometimes falling asleep as well. Like, oh, okay. And so after that nap, I mean, naps kind of do that to me. I'm not a napper. I don't, I don't nap normally. Uh, but I think it was because of the fall and probably a little bit of the nap too. Fall caffeine and nap. I just, I felt horrible. And so that was like 3.30. And so I got off work early yesterday. And so the rest of the day though, felt like poo. Like it felt so bad. Like I felt, uh, I felt like the day was dragging on and it felt like I couldn't remember I, like I wasn't paying attention. Not that I can't remember. I was just like I couldn't. Like, like, like I was afraid I couldn't remember, and it felt like the day was dragging on. And I was having one of those like out of my head kind of feelings, where it's like you just. I just kind of woke up with anxiety, which you know and a lot of you guys know. I don't really get a whole lot of that kind of like. Uh, what's the way to say it? Like I want 
want to call it fake anxiety, but it's not. It's real anxiety. It's just uh, unuseful anxiety. That's what we'll call it. Uh, there's no tiger in the bush next to me, so I don't need this anxiety right now. But I woke up kind of afraid and kind of like checking the nice surroundings. And I had that moment of like, am I forgetting what's going on? Where am I? What's going on? What's happening? You know what I mean? That feeling. Um, which obviously is ludicrous, but, you know, we have anxiety. So, welcome to our world. <laughs> so, that was like that for the whole rest of the day. And so, I'm back on 10 milligrams. As you guys know, I kind of played with my dosage a little bit. That could have had something to do with it, but I woke up this morning and everything's been fine. I just took another five milligrams. Um, so that being said, uh, caffeine is horrible. But when I was in my beginning stages of ca uh, or, uh, caffeine, uh, my beginning stages of anxiety, uh, I was comfort eating a lot at that time. And so I would stop off at the gas station in the morning, and they have these little things. And uh, I've talked about it before. They're called ham and cheese puffs. And all it is, you guys probably have them at your gas station too, like Philip 66s, I think those marathons may have them. Uh, and it's just a little little thing about the size of a Pop-Tart. And it's just like deep fried bread with meat and cheese in it. <laughs> and so I would eat those, I would eat those, and then I would have a Monster Energy drink. But like not even the no sugar one, like I would have the Monster Import, which is like regular Monster, but a little bit better. But, um, or I would drink Mountain Dew, or I would drink Dr. Pepper, or any of these high caffeine, high sugar drinks. I've never been that big into coffee. I, I like coffee. Uh, I should say I like creamer with some coffee, uh, but it's never been my thing. I, I, I don't really care about coffee. Uh, but caffeine drinks to help kind of, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm very adamant about when I get to work, I want to look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, okay? Because getting into my job, I got into it young. I mean, like right out of high school as a family company, right out of high school, I was fresh and I was in it. Uh, and when you're, I mean, at the time, I was like baby faced at the time. And so uh, when you show up as a kid, um, I literally had middle aged people, and they were middle aged. They weren't old people, and they weren't young people. They were middle aged people. I literally had them close the door on my face. Like, oh, you're here to do the work? They wanted somebody with gray hair, apparently. And so once I started growing professional hair, it helped a lot. However, I've always been adamant about if I'm going to be there and I'm going to have that uh, opportunity for them to uh, shut the door on my face, I want to be as best as I can. I want to be on my Sunday best kind of thing. Uh, I want to be bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready to go. When they answer the door, I say, hi, I'm Aaron, blah, blah, blah. And I go into my screen. Like, I've been up, everything's been great, and I'm ready to go to work. And that helped a lot, especially with my confidence at the time. When people shut the door in your face, it's real confidence uh, 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 knocker downer, we'll say, for lack of a better term. Um, yeah, see going on. There's the law. The law. Oh, it's because somebody smashed into somebody else with a Subaru. Come on, Subaru, what are you doing? Alright. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, so, that being said, uh, caffeine has been a big help for me in a lot of different ways, whether that was in school taking tests, whether I was looking bright-eyed bushy tail for work, uh, or that just having one of those lull days. Um, I'm not a person that takes stimulants as far as drugs go. Uh, you know, like I have friends of mine that are just like, dude, just take an Adderall, bro. It'll just be an Adderall day, man. Just, just do it. Not for me. <laughs> I'm good. I've had Adderall before. Uh, I had a really crappy doctor when I was like a junior sophomore in high school. I had a really crappy doctor, and uh, he looked like he looked kind of like Danny DeVito, like Danny DeVito's uglier cousin. If that makes sense. No offense to Danny DeVito. I love Danny DeVito, but he's not the very most attractive man. But this guy was like. Fat. Like, he definitely should not have been a healthcare professional. Because <laughs> he looked horrible. He definitely looked like he wasn't taking care of himself correctly. So, <laughs> this guy said, my dad was worried that I might have ADHD. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you guys know me. I'm kind of sporadic. Uh, this is me. 
all the time, all the time. <laughs> and so the guy goes, it was Friday, it was Friday, and the guy goes, well, there's a test, he's really great at it, there's a test that you can do, uh, and it takes a little while, and it kind of will, you know, signify whether they may or may not have ADHD, uh, but we're not going to go that route. What we're going to do is, got out his pad, wrote me out a prescription for, you guessed it, Adderall, and he goes, all right, kid, <laughs> gave me the prescription, he goes, take these tomorrow in the morning. He goes, if they make you, what was it? He goes, if they make you really hyper, then you don't have ADHD. He goes, but if they calm you down, then you have ADHD. And I thought, at the time, mind you, I was like a sophomore in high school. I was like, this is a horrible, horrible way to do this. This guy should not be practicing medicine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> at all so I did it though I mean I did it trust the doctor you know I went for it and uh, that next morning I took the Adderall Woo! talk about focus I did all my work all my homework for the week I did other people's homework I counted all the hairs on the back of my hand there was 836 of them kind of more. <laughs> that's exaggeration but it was making me really focused and it kind of like made me like I was, it, it, Adderall is speed so if you're giving your children Adderall, it's speed. It's literally the drugs that they had back in the day. Just one side effects. It's speed. So <laughs> that's my Adderall story. Just a little side note. So if you're in anxiety, especially, we're bringing this back full circle, especially if you're in the beginning stages of anxiety, uh, back the caffeine down. You don't need it. I mean, you probably want it, especially if you were like me and you were like kind of addicted, like not addicted, but kind of addicted to caffeine, where like it was kind of like a, a thing that your body craved, I need that little boost of energy. Um, let's go up here. Sorry, guys. Uh, back it down. It's going to help you a lot. Sugar. Back sugar way, 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 way down. Okay? Your body can live without sugar, okay? Especially if you're younger. Uh don't need it. You don't need, we live on like eight times the amount of sugar that we possibly need a day, every single day. You can back that sugar way down. Back it down even to diet pops. I know you hear about aspartame and things like that. It, everything in moderation, including moderation friends, okay? So usually the pop I drink now, which helps a lot for backing the sugar down, and it has no uh, caffeine in it, is a pop. You can get it at like Martin's or a Meyer Walmart. You probably don't have a Martin's where you're from. Uh, but it's called Zevia. And it's like a keto pop. But even if you like pop and you want to get something that still kind of tastes like pop, it's you know, carbonated uh, and it's not as bad for you. Um, Zevia. It's good. It's good stuff. I get the grape. Get that grape drink. Um, so check it out. Yeah, no caffeine. It doesn't stimuli you, but it does give you that pop thing too. So um, back it down. If you want to back off the diet pops, um, you can do like that. It has caffeine in it. That diet Dr. Pepper has caffeine in it. Um, it has a lower amount, obviously, than say a Red Bull or um, a Monster with zero sugar, but it's still going to have you know some in there. So that's kind of where I'm at now. So when I first started, brings full circle. First started, nothing. And then as you get better, uh, and as your anxiety kind of lessens and you get more to it, slowly introduce that stuff back in, and then you will be happy that you did that because it will make your life better. Like, yeah, what you are what you eat, and you're only a product of the fuel that you put in. So if you're putting in crap and crud and caffeine and these quick stimulants, you know, it's like, it's kind of like having, like if, you know, if there's any car people here, it's like imagine you know, you have nitrous for a car. It's, you guys have seen Fast and Furious. That's like an uh, 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 exaggerated version of nitrous. But it gives you the same principle. It's a short burst of nitrous oxide that is highly combustible. And it expands. It goes with the fuel. And it makes you go faster. And it makes everything go faster, right? Imagine trying to run your car on nitrous all the time. Everything's going to blow apart. It's not going to do it. You only do it for a little bit. It's a lot of pressure on everything else. And 
that's what it's doing to your body. It's putting pressure on everything else so you can stimuli yourself to go faster, and then it, you know, everything else starts breaking down. Well, your mental state is gonna be one of the first things that happen, first things that breaks down. So, keep that in mind. All right, friends, I'm not gonna rant on too long. I just wanted to kind of touch bases on this because I have been asked about it before, and I have kind of talked about it before, but not in like greater detail. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can. So uh, keep the questions coming, keep the comments coming. Um, share these videos. Like I said, if you think it can help anybody, please like these videos, because that's the, that's really what helps this channel out. And I'm trying to make this channel grow so we can reach as many people as we can. So uh, please like the video and hit the little you know, bell notification if you want to see more. You know, and if you're not, like I said, if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you as a, uh, as a subscriber. You know, and if you do, let me be the first to welcome you to the Aaron's Anxiety family. And uh, all right, friends, I'm gonna leave it here. Drop your caffeine down. You'll be glad you did. Until next time, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.